Okay, so good day. I'm James from Live Help, and today I gonna show you and teach you on how to add an item category in your back office of your uh, Bitpost, uh, your POS system um, from Live Help for us computer services. So now you're seeing the home home tab of the back office so here uh, this is an example here uh, this is will your company name will be placed so I named it live help for us computer services and moving on to adding an item category so I will just here items slash inventory so ju we'll just click this okay and then here in the maintenance section of the item slash inventory tab we can see uh, the item categories so we will click this okay and then this will pop up okay so first thing first so uh, we must change necessary things first before naming our category because that's how the program works so if you name it first and then change other stuffs in here uh, your category name will disappear so better follow the instructions so that your uh, category name will not disappear so here in the item tax type so uh, we are choosing regular and we can also choose non but but for now we're regular because mm, we're non but uh, okay and then item type we have here a uh, drop down arrow okay we have manufactured purchase and service okay so usually we are purchasing our goods or our products so we'll choose purchased if you manufactured it you can choose manufactured for now we'll be choosing purchased okay and then here we have units of measure so again there is a drop down arrow beside amount so here uh, we can see a lot of uh, unit of measures uh, in this tutorial I'm planning to add a category for uh, all soft drinks so I will name this as soft drink so a soft drink is in bottle so I'm gonna choose bottle uh, I'm just gonna click this bottle okay and we're all good then moving on in this uh, in this area this uh, sales account inventory account COGS account inventory adjustment account uh, uh, leave it as it is it's the default of the system and yeah and then here we have a type so we are making here a category so will you choose the category not the brand remember category because this is our item category and then po pos quick picks okay so pos quick picks it will display a certain area in your POS uh, for an easy access in your category if you gonna click that uh, it will display all the items in that category so um, we're gonna click this yes and then don't forget your category name so I'm gonna name this as soft drinks soft drinks okay and then by clicking outside okay and we're good to go okay here at the bottom you can see this add new button if we're gonna hit this um, all information that we entered in this area will be saved in our system or in our database so we're gonna click this add new okay and this popped up so new item category has been added so uh, here soft drinks this is our category 
it has been added to our system and yeah this is all the information that is inside our category which is soft drinks okay next we can edit or we can delete our category so here we have a pencil icon which is edit and then next one is an x icon oh literally it's the delete uh, icon so we will gonna try this edit so that you can you can see and uh, what's inside the edit too so here okay if you if you clicked the edit so your item information will pop up again so here you can see the i uh sorry category uh the category name uh, here soft drinks and then here all the information that we have entered uh are all here so if we're gonna change your units of measure just click the drop down button and you can choose any if there's any adjustments or any changes in your category so here at the bottom we have uh, three main buttons which are update clone and tensor so the update we're gonna save our um, changes and then clone literally we will gonna clone this um, category and then here we have a cancel so we will cancel the uh, edition of this um, category so for now we're gonna hit update to save our work so here so at the top you can see selected item category has been updated okay so and then next we have we will try this um, X button so um, here we're gonna click this just one hit in the X packs okay and no more it no more category in our um, item category so here at the top uh, it, it says that selected item category has been de deleted so that's it okay um, here in, uh, in the section in our category section uh, we just deleted our um, category which is soft drinks but I will um, show to you on how to add a units of measure for example you add a category that uh, does not fit with this with this unit of measures you can add that by just simply clicking again this item slash inventory tab okay and this will pop up and then here we can see units of measure so by clicking that here all the listed um, units in the drop down um, box will shown be here okay so here we can um, sorry <laughs> Uh, here uh, if we gonna add a meter uh, is there any meter here meter yes we have meter so maybe this is just for an example so centimeter so we'll just add centimeter uh, okay here so unit abbreviation is cm and then the um, descriptor name which is the whole name of the uh, of our unit so it is centimeter okay there you are and then decimal places so if we need if we need decimal places in our unit so uh, we're gonna choose these numbers if uh, it is not necessary to add decimals in our unit um, we're gonna click user quantity 
this amount as default and then by clicking add new of course it will save in our database system so by clicking that save there you are new unit has been added so uh, we will check where is this okay here centimeter and then our unit abbreviation which is cm and then here uh, like in the item category we can also edit and delete our units of measure so that's it for today and that's how simple in adding an item category and adding more units of measure so um, hope you enjoy this video and you learned a lot from this video and thank you for watching